Does it feel like your metabolism has totally slowed down, making it practically impossible to lose weight? If so, stick around and watch while I try out this calorie torching Tabata workout. It might be exactly what you need in your exercise routine. Hey there, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm working out with Pop Sugar Fitness and the routine I chose is called Calorie Torching 30 Minute Cardio and Sculpting Tabata. It's led by Equinox trainer Rainier Pollard. And the reason that I chose this particular workout today was, first of all, it seems like it's really simple. Not as in basic, easy, simple, but there's no equipment. All you need is a mat, sneakers, and maybe some water. So I really like that. I also chose it because it looks like the instructor, he gets super sweaty and I love getting really sweaty during my workouts because it just shows me how hard my body is working. Also, when I sweat really hard, it's a really good way to clear out my mind and clear out all the other toxins that accumulate in my body. And lastly, I was curious if this workout would be good to boost a sluggish metabolism. So let's go check out the video and see how it goes. The workout begins with a warm-up of basic kicking and it turns into side kicking. Then we go into jumping jacks. There are so many jumping jacks in this routine. It is an excellent way to get the heart rate up. He introduced variations with some squat jacks and told us to be soft on our knees by keeping a little bend. There were rests in between each series. That is basically what a Tabata workout is. 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. I love the way the instructor at one point had said that during our jumping jacks, our arms needed to be in a blur. That's how fast we needed to be moving. So I think my arms were definitely in a blur. So I succeeded in that part. Once the jumping ends, we went down to the floor for push-ups. He had us start in plank and then go into a straightforward push-up. He did offer a modification to go down to the knees, which I opted to do instead. And after the push-ups, we went into burpees. Here is our burpee session, and he did offer a more challenging variation if we wanted to take a push-up in part of the burpee, which I opted not to do. After burpees, it was back down for a wide leg push-up. Wide leg push-ups are actually easier to do than when your feet are closer together, so that felt a little bit like a break. Not really, but a tiny bit. More squats, but this time the squats went into kind of a dance party. He offered some twerking moves if we chose to partake, which I 100% did. As you can see, I was feeling my groove for sure. And after that, it was more jump squats. So many jump squats, lots of jumping, got the cardio going, got my heart rate up, and my calves would surely be sore the next day because of all this jumping. From there, we went into swimming. There was a swim series that worked on a breaststroke. This is supposed to be, no, this is supposed to be a crawl. The other one was the breaststroke, but uh, I'm not a swimmer, so as you can tell. The thing with this is it's a core exercise, so you have to be really careful that you engage your core to protect your lower back. Otherwise, you're going to be feeling it the next day. The last Tabata series was a running man where, again, you had to engage your core as you pull your knee in and out. It is a super fast exercise. It was all about cardio and, again, a core strengthener. If you didn't engage your core, then you would surely lose your balance, which I did a couple times. Finally, the cool down, which included side stretches and lifting the arms up towards the ceiling, lengthening through the hamstrings. It's so important to cool down after you do a workout because otherwise the muscles get really tight. It was a generous stretch that went on for about five minutes and the instructor said some inspirational things. It really left me on a great vibe. Well, that was intense. Those Tabatas definitely got my heart rate up. But because there were so many rests, I never felt like I was overexerted. I could always keep a good steady pace. I did break a sweat. I wouldn't say that I was dripping in sweat, but I definitely got warm and felt my body working hard, so that was good. As far as this workout being something that could boost a metabolism, I would say yes, it's because of those Tabatas, but you'd have to go really hard in those Tabatas if you want to get the full effect. 
Also, I would suggest doing this workout a few times a week or with other workouts that are something like it if you really wanted to get a sluggish metabolism going. So, thank you so much for watching to the very end. I appreciate it. Check back weekly where I'll be posting more streamable workout reviews to help you age amazingly well. See you next time. Bye.